Hi there, in this screencast I'm going to create a method that will uh, reset the board for a new game. And I'm going to make it in a method instead of just an event handler so that we can call that method from um, uh, more than one location in um, our program so we won't have to have the same set of code duplicated over and over again every time we want to reset the game. Okay, so uh, I'm going to make a button th for new a new game, first of all. So let me uh, let me call it uh, PTN new game. And then for its text property, I'm going to call it say new game right. All right. and now I'm going to go into my code and I'm going to um, write a void method that's called start new game so I'm going to say public void start new game so a method, once again, is um, code that you may want to um, have called throughout different locations uh, elsewhere in your program. So instead of having to rewrite those same lines of code in 20 different spots, you can write it once and then you can simply call the method uh, from some other location in your program by just saying the name of the method and then all the lines of code that are um, in the method definition which is what we're writing now will be executed so this is a big efficiency um, issue in programming um, it'll make your code much much shorter all right so when we start a new game we need to basically reset all of um, the tiles or the squares in the game back to blue and then we also need to re-enable all of the play buttons so um, that's pretty straightforward so I'm gonna say um, first of all uh, dot enabled equals true and then I'm gonna copy that and then of course I have six more of them that I need. So one, two, three, and then I'll do all of these at once. And then four, five, and six. Okay, and then I need to set all of my squares back to having a back color of blue. So I'm going to, uh, that's 42 of them. So PB00 dot back color equals color dot blue. Uh, and then I'm going to hmm, I need that a total of 42 times so I'm going to paste 2 and then I'm going to paste 4 and then I'm going to paste eight of them. And then 16. And then, all right, so I'm going to say I'll do row zero first. Six, and then I'll do row one. Uh, 
and then row two, and so on. So I'm just going to pause the video while I finish that, and then I'll start it up again in just a second. So you don't have to watch me doing Okay, I think I got all of them. So now, why don't we... Oh, actually, you know what? Let's go, and in the new game event handler, we're going to say, call the start new game method. So now let's give it a shot and see if it's working or not. All right, any day now. Okay, so let me just hurriedly Okay, and now I'm going to say new game, and voila, yes, it worked.